Hey everyone, welcome to May's Log Life. I'm May, and this is my first impression video of the Via Stretch Fleece Tunic. Um, so the Via is named after a bag that's been around for a long time that's sort of been discontinued somewhat recently, maybe the past couple of years or so. Uh, but the Via was a really popular travel bag that they had for a while. And if I'm not mistaken, Via is short for Olivia, which is the name of Amy and Jason's daughter, who are the founders of the company. So they named a bag after their daughter and they named her, they named it Via. So uh, I can understand why they you know, like these names, uh, while they're bringing some of them back. Obviously some of these names have meaning to them. Um, so anyways, here we are, all these bags, sorry, all these, uh, clothing items are now being named after bags. So I think we're going to see that for the next while. I don't know if they're ever going to change it so that each of these clothing items actually have their own name, but it looks like right now we're just going back and recycling old bag names. So, uh, right off the bat, I am loving this thing. <laughs> it looks so comfortable and I happen to absolutely adore that particular print that you see there, the um, flannel plaid navy. So I would be very, very tempted to get this. Now, I unfortunately have learned the hard way uh, that when you're not like a size four, size five, and you put on a bit of weight, at least for me anyways, whenever I put on stripes or plaids, I look ridiculous. <laughs> I I look a gazillion times bigger than I actually really am and it draws attention to all sorts of awful things. So I'm mourning that I probably will never be able to buy this particular uh, garment because it looks exactly like something I would want to wear. It looks fun. I love the color, but the way the body's sitting right now until I, you know, lose like 50, 60 pounds, I think I'm going to have to stay away from that tunic, which makes me a little bit sad because I really quite like it. Um, okay, so it's $87. Meh. It's not a great price. It's not a bad price. Um, I would have liked it if it was a little bit lower, but you know what? I'll just have to wait for a sale if I want to get this. Um, okay, so let's take a look. So let's look at the photos, I guess, first. Um, so let's open this up. Oh, it's cute. It is so cute. Look at those huge pockets. I, I love pockets. I refuse to now buy pajamas that don't have pockets. Um, if, if I wear a night shirt, I try to make sure that there's pockets somewhere on it, but I'm always like carrying like a tissue, my lip balm, my phone, um, you know, whatever it is. I just like to have it on me so that I'm not carrying a coupe. Uh, cause if I don't have pockets and I'm, I'm forced to strap on a coupe, which is fine. I just don't like having an extra thing that's on me all day long as I'm walking around doing stuff. I kind of like pockets. So, um, yeah, I would love to get this, but. Yeah, I don't know, but it looks nice and warm and cozy. So, um, so yeah, so it's got like a, just a lapel. I'm glad it's not a hoodie because, yeah, I, I'm sometimes I'm just I think hoodies are almost overdone. Um, and also, I never use the hoodie. To me, it's just an extra piece of fabric. <laughs> so anything that has a hoodie on it, I'm like, I will never use you as a hoodie. It's just going to sit there as decoration on my back. So I kind of like that this doesn't have a hoodie because um, oftentimes these kinds of garments do, like these big fleece sort of over cover all things. They usually have a, have a, have a, have a, uh, have a hoodie. Um, and I just end up kind of going, eh, I don't feel like paying so much money for something I'm never going to wear. Um, so anyways. So I do love that this one does not have a hoodie. And I also notice there's a little slit on the side, so it gives you a little bit more mobility, which is really, really good. Um, and it just looks like it's just, a, it hangs just above her knee. Now I kind of want to know how tall she is and what size she's wearing, but yeah, that's cute. That is very, very cute. So, oh, I'm so jealous. I definitely, definitely want. Um, <gasps> wait a minute. Is that... Oh my gosh, hang on. Is that, are we selling? No. Okay, this this looks like either Lug is about to start selling eyeglass holders or is this the, like the drawstring coming out of the, like, how does this, how do I put this? Like, is this, does, do this, does this come attached to the garment? Like, it looks like it's coming out of this. It doesn't look like it's a separate thing, but the color is such a good color match. So I'm wondering if that means Lug is actually coming out with these or not, because that's such a good, perfect color match. And why on earth would they show you this with glasses if A, they're not selling it, or B, this isn't attached. So if it is attached to this, 
does this mean they upgraded and put these little eyeglass holders on or what? Like this is confusing me. I'm not quite sure what that means, but the fact that they're really zooming in on it and showing you that this thing holds glasses makes me think that this is a built-in eyeglass like string, right? Okay, I guess we'll find out in the video. So we'll watch that in a minute, but that's cool. Oh my God, that's so cute. That is so cute. I so want it. Okay, see, I can see these. So this is the drawstring right here. So you can see there's a seam right there. So that looks like this drawstring lives in the outer part of that collar. So you could, if you want, pull that collar really, really tight and cinch it. If it's really cold outside, you can zip it all the way up and then cinch it. Um, but I don't know. These little eyeglass thingies are confusing me. So, okay. Again, like I, I said, we'll just have to see. Now, the good thing about the fleece is that it looks like you can see the interior is the same as the outside, but it's just, it's just as vibrant because it's just the other side of the fabric. Uh, but there's something kind of nice about having that print on the outside and on the inside, and it's not just sort of white on the inside there. So I kind of like that. And I do like the line of the pockets. They didn't just make it a square. They kind of gave it a little bit of an angle and a bit of a curve. So that's a really attractive look. And it also is a lot easier for you to put your hands in. You're not having to sort of twist your wrist to be able to get your hands in. So... Yeah, I love the design of that pocket. And right now, I am thinking of my mother so much. If I, if my mother was still alive, I would buy this for her for Christmas. I'd probably get her like two sets. Uh, my mom was a pocket freak. Um, there was, and I, and I obviously I've inherited that love of pockets from her. Um, she could never, ever, ever have a sweater that didn't have at least two pockets. And I remember growing up, every time we went shopping, um, whenever we were looking for new tops for her. She, the first thing she checked was, does it have a pocket? And if it had more than one pocket, she would just buy it. Even if it wasn't like a color she loved or if it wasn't like a perfect fit for her, um, she would just get it because it had pockets. <laughs> so if this is what I think it is, in that this are is built in eyeglasses holders, because my mom also had got glasses everywhere in the house. Like my mom, for some reason, she'd just pick them up garage sales. She'd go to the, well, usually garage sales. I don't know where she would find them, but anywhere where they had glasses, she just bought them. Uh, and she had them literally all over the house. So you'd open up a drawer, there'd be a pair of glasses. Uh, you go to the bathroom, there's a pair of glasses. Uh, there's a, you know, like two or three pairs, uh, you know, at the, at the, at the head of the bed. Uh, she'd have one in the living room. She had one in the kitchen. She had one in her, in her purse and she would wear them around as well. So everywhere you went was my mom's glasses. Um, and I think it would have been cool that she would have had them like just hanging off of her shirt. But the fact that this thing had big pockets and is an eyeglass holder, my mom would have probably lost it. So, and this looks like, and, and I, I used to always like to buy her like nice, warm, soft sort of pajamas because she got cold really easily. She was this tiny, tiny little thing. Um, and, um, yeah, it was, there's nothing that made me happier than making sure that my mother was happy and comfortable and warm. So I very often tried to get her like really nice cozy fleeces. And so this is just right up my alley. Uh, definitely, definitely this would have been an instant, instant gift for my mom. And I'm mourning her just that much more right now because I can't give this to her. So, um, so mom, if you can hear me, Merry Christmas. I'm getting you this. <laughs> um, if you're out there anywhere, this is what I would totally get you this year. So, oh, anyway, okay. Getting a little teary. This is not cool. Should not do this when I'm making this video. Okay. So that is the flannel plaid navy black, which is great. A solid is awesome. Um, cause sometimes you just want a solid. Um, because yeah, uh, it, it's black is slimming. It doesn't show a bunch of weird lines on you. <laughs> it's cute. I actually would, I would get that in black. Um, I would totally, totally get that in black. Yeah, that's a built in thing. They're doing it here as well. So they're showing you, so that wasn't just a fluke on that one, on that one color. This is a built in eyeglass thing. How completely cool that what an amazing amazing clever 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 thought that all you put is like just a couple little knob jewels on the side on the very ends of those and suddenly you've got a garment that's so much more cool and so much more uh I don't know what the word is like fancy not fancy like fancy nice but fancy like it's got a whole other feature that no one's ever thought of what a what a brilliant idea uh so great great idea on the designer's part oh that looks so comfy cozy uh okay and so that was the black. And then let's look at the camo taupe. Hello. 
So they're using the same model each time. I kind of would like them to use a different model so that you can sort of see different sizes. It would have been nice if they had gotten a different model. Yep, okay, so that's consistent. That is a feature they put in, um, those eyeglass things. Uh, what's, ooh, what's this? This is, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Multi dots Navy. I love this. Okay. I would, I'm going to get this too. I would get this. I, this one I might get because polka dots don't accentuate, you know, weird body parts <laughs> as much as plaid does or stripes. I am. Okay. You know what? If this goes on sale, I am totally buying this. And I, sometimes think that those multi-dot colors is a little too juvenile for me so I don't want it on a bag but it's perfect on a set of pajamas or on loungewear I love 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 this and I actually do like the blue I think the blue is actually quite nice I am totally totally in love with this color I want it I want it I want it it's all I have to say oh my god oh mom I really wish I could buy this for you Okay, so there's two colors already that I like. I would definitely get the black. I would definitely get that multi-dot navy. I love the flannel plaid, but it ain't happening. Olive green. That's actually really nice. It's a nice solid. I quite like that. Olive green is a really good solid. And you know what's really cool? You could wear this and match it with the Ranger sweatpants. Um, so you can get like, a, you know, the, the printed on the bottom and then have a solid on the top. Like that would be really cool. So you can mix and, ma mix and match those sets, which would be very oh my gosh rockstar we haven't seen rockstar too often i'm so glad for people who are big rockstar fans um that this has come back i'm so glad that this print has come back because i know that a lot of people really like this print um it's not personally my thing um but i do like it like i do love that it's you know just a a sky of stars but I'm so glad for the people who have never experienced the Rockstar print before that you are getting to use to see this for the first time, um, especially in this particular garment. Oh, it's fun. That is so much fun. Ah, oh, so cool. Oh my gosh, Resort Black. You're kidding. Cool. What a fun little assortment of colors. See, to me, that's a little too summery. So it's not something I feel like I would want to wear fleeces in because um, I kind of find summer prints on fleece confusing. <laughs> so I'm like, I it, it looks cozy and warm. It feels cozy and warm. But yet I feel like this is all spring and summer. And it would confuse my brain a little too much. Um, and you know what? I'm not sure I like it as much on this. Because the one thing about this particular print was the crisp lines that you could see. And because it's in a furrier, fuzzier print, it makes it just look kind of like a blurry mess. So I'm not sure if I like it in this particular fabric. But I love the colors. The colors are really, really nice. So... Um, so there we go. Oh my gosh. Okay. You know what? So I got to wait for a sale because I think I'd like to get one of these. Um, and I'd love to see how it feels like once it's on. So, okay. So let's read, uh, cute, comfy, colorful, the VS stretch. Oh, it's stretchy. Yes. They actually go to their way to say stretch, which means it does have stretch to it. Cause sometimes these things just don't, and it's so uncomfortable. So I'm so glad that they've actually gone out of their way to say stretch. Um, with a bonus eyeglass holder, I guess I should have read this right off the bat, hey? Um, is per is perfectly fit for lounging around the house or, re or running errands around town. Really? I don't think I'd run errands around town with that. Um, <laughs> depends on your town, I guess. Um, I live in a big city. You know, people tend not to go out with their pajamas here. Uh, but I have lived in places where people do, and no one bats an eye. But here in the city, uh, it's, it's not so much frowned upon. It's just that no one does it. No one goes out in their pajamas. But you do see people wearing, like, sweats. But you don't see people, like, literally wearing, like, loungewear out. Um, so anyway, uh, unless you're like 22 and you're, you know, running out of your dorm room to go out and get pizza in the middle of the night, you know, that you see, but, um, anyways, oh, sorry, what am I doing here? So I probably run errands around town, um, a functional, fashionable, questionable there, um, shirt made of unbelievably comfy stretch fleece. We added two oversized pockets because who doesn't love those? Well, yeah, thank you. Um, and an eyeglass holder on the string. So you never lose your readers or sunglasses again. That is bloody brilliant um that's so cool I love that oh I'm so so missing my mom right now because my mom would have loved it my mom was also like into like you know like fun little cool things that do cool things like that like she would have loved that her sweater had eyeglasses holders so 
Oh my God, I'm missing my mom right now hard. Okay, so measurements, I think it's the same measurement on the same chart that we saw earlier uh, for all the other ones. So let's move on from there. So it says built-in eyeglasses holder, two pockets with sewn in flaps. What does that mean? Sewn in flaps. Hmm. Uh, half zip and polyester spandex. Okay, cool. And then the care, I got it was, oh, it's really gentle cycle? Eh, okay. I probably wouldn't. <laughs> uh, anything fleece, but I guess because it's the stretch fleece, you probably want to, you don't want to dry that. Because anything with a stretch with the, um, with the elastic-y parts in it, like, with the, what's the word? Um, oh my gosh, what's the word? Hang on. Spandex. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Um, actually, it's like Lycra, whatever it is. If you happen to have that, then you definitely want to have uh, to hang dry that because drying things like at hot temperatures will sort of fry out the, the elasticity and eventually it will disintegrate and you'll you'll lose your elasticity. And so eventually the, the shape of the garment will be lost as well. Um, no video on this, which is kind of sad, I guess. But I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I just would have liked to have seen them. Um, and actually, do we have pictures of? Yes. OK. I've just realized that we didn't see pictures of other people doing other stuff in them. And those pastries look quite yummy. <laughs> uh, I might be hungry. Um, see, that's a great idea. So you're sitting around, you're reading, you want to you know, take your glasses off to go get, make yourself a cup of coffee. You just hang them off your chest. That is awesome. Absolutely love, love that idea. And that olive looks so cute. Um, oh, who's Poppy? Oh. We need to talk, we need to we need to talk about the lug dogs because there there was another one earlier in another video another in another I think it was the um, the Rangers there was a really cute puppy there uh, I think there's something in the jitterbug as well I need to talk about the lug puppies they're so cute um, oh what a great idea oh my god how cool. All right, and that is the last of the photos. So there we go. All right, um, so that is my first impression of the Via Stretch Fleece Tunic. I am definitely buying these when they go on sale. They have to be a pretty good sale though, um, because yeah, I wanna make sure that I can actually maybe buy more than one, uh, if, if I like them especially. Uh, the only problem right now is I'm kind of perimenopausal, so wearing something fleece doesn't really appeal to me as much as it used to because I get way too hot way too fast um so it's entirely possible I may never actually be able to wear this even if I buy it because I will be on fire <laughs> if I put this on I will just melt into a puddle of goo because I will just be so hot so but I do really really want to get it because it looks so perfect and um Anyway, so there we go. So that's my video. Please tell me if you're getting one. Tell me if you've already got one. If you have one, please tell me what you think of it. How does it feel? How does it fit? Do the eyeglass thing really work well? How big are the pockets? Can you like fit like a big wad of tissue paper in there as well? Can you really fit a phone in there? I would have loved to have seen, you know, how big that pocket goes um, and sort of see how much of a how much coverage you get if you were to put your phone in there. So anyways, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time.